because on the way out of the window, where they were passing down this large cache of books from the eighth floor, just so happens that one of the library security people came by to check. Just, you know, he only does it once every three weeks, but it happened to be on that night. Wow. And so these guys were both taken down and arrested. However, differently from the book I read, nobody was murdered and nobody <laughs> got any kind of penalty. That was the astonishing thing. They were not sent to jail. They didn't have to make restitution. They walked off after making, I don't know how many thousands of dollars by cutting and destroying all these books. And they were university books for the most part. So I don't know how that happened, but something wasn't quite where, right. Where were the universities? Um, I don't know if they listed them. Hmm. Well, there was one in the Twin Cities, College Station, and Texas A&M. There are a number of them. Uh, that, uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, it was just uh, one of those things where you don't realize sometimes what you have in a library that somebody might find useful outside of the library, <laughs> and there are not going to be tags on them. So it's fairly easy to carry them out. And uh, I think that is it. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's it. Where the book drop is coming. Um, along at the CTA. Shout out to Dan on that one. Um, how, it, it'll be there soon? Well, we have yes. met with, um, thanks to Dan, we had a contact with the CTA, Jerry um, Alder. And Rick Merrill and I met with them on September 11th to sort of look at potential spaces right outside of the CTA station. Uh, it's a covered area, but it's mm -hmm. outside. And so right now, he needed to go back to the legal department there and get a um, memorandum of understanding about what was exact, what, what the equipment was that was going to go in that space or the mm -hmm. piece of equipment that was going to go in that space. So he has the specs um, and a, the, the picture of the actual book drop that we would want to purchase for that spot. So they need to draw up for their own purposes, this letter of memorandum, and that's what we're waiting for at this point. Is it right next to where the uh, village has a... Uh, they have a mailbox there. Mailbox. Is it yes. right next to that one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that is an area that's most likely where it will go. Mm -hmm. Continue. So he hasn't done it yet? The letter of memorandum? Yeah. No, but this, you know, this was September 11th, so his legal department, I think. But didn't you, didn't, like, you give him the specs? Well, he has the specs right. and all of that, yes. Okay. All right, so you're going to... I mean... <laughs> right. I, I was going to... He has to get the right by his people. people. I mean, no, <laughs> yes. but, it, you know, the wheels that. grind slowly. Yes, yes. okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, but, um, yeah. A couple other quick items. Um, you know, the election is coming up for those who... I wanted to run. I know some people are circulating petitions. Um, if you don't plan on running, you know, that's okay. That's good. But I hope we get some good candidates. Yeah. Speak to your I'd like friends. to encourage anyone out there in TV right. land who's watching <laughs> to <laughs> run right. for the trustee positions. Next time, right. make that statement at the beginning of the broadcast, not at the right. two hour board. <laughs> it's a great board. It's a great board to serve on. <laughs> so, um, and we're planning. And there's a annual conference in Peoria. Um, I have been to it, but not in Peoria. Um, the Illinois Library Association. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have people going? We have a couple of staff yeah. members going. Good. Good. Um, any any further business comments? Um, um, I would just like to just say this um, community outreach projects. This um, book group. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine attended that. Oh, and okay. It was great because then she came to our book group and brought all the recommendations. Mm -hmm. Great. That, so um, the adult service librarian attended. A, yes, a book club. Um, yes, this was an individual who reached out to us and asked if we could do a, a program of. Uh, books that have a buzz right now. Right, and like Rachel Garcia, yeah. our, one of our newest librarians mm -hmm. um, in adult okay. services, uh, put together the, the book and did the presentation at this right. house. Yeah, I, I think this is a great report item for the trustees to get 
Uh, so yeah. thank you for putting that yep. in so mm -hmm. we can see. You know, along with the SERP numbers and things like this, this is a little bit some yeah. of the programming numbers as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Programming if, items if as well. If I may ask, is this something that will be offered on an ongoing basis to other book groups? Because I think it would be well received. Well, this was, we can do it, but this particular one was an annual meeting, so they knew they were going to have 30 people there. Oh, I see. It was, it was not a small yeah. arrangement, but we're willing to we're willing to explore any of those ideas. So, mm -hmm. or if you could just put them online, can you just put them online? Oh, sure. Yeah, can, just put yeah, them online, then all book too, clubs but can. There's sure. nothing like having a live Human person well, book talking. A number of us who attended a League of Women Voters meeting, uh, three of us. Um, it was a program that bookstall. Yes. yes. And I thought it was excellent. And then they handed out their, they weren't, I mean, they had books to sell, but it was encouraging people right. of what were the hot summer right. reads in both yep. fiction and nonfiction. I mm -hmm. thought it was terrific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or oh, we can get them to come to the library and hear that. <laughs> if I could, I just happen to read but Jan's report. Um, that new law they passed um, looks interesting as I read it. Uh, and this is from Jan's report on the new one. It says that any business that rents in Wilmette, we can now offer that business library privileges without paying an additional fee. If they're not a resident, but they work at wherever. So it's something I think we should uh, think about setting that policy and extending that opportunity. If I'm reading this correctly. I think I think it's a little bit different. I think this is for non-residents. There are people that who live in unincorporated library districts. That's what I thought. I think that's was. the focus of it, yeah. Um, because people say you live in unincorporated. Yeah, no, yeah, right. Hill. That's a different yeah, thing yeah, where you would have to pay an annual amount equivalent the amount of property taxes, so it's quite expensive. Yeah. Um, I think if you are a business owner here, you can get a yes, library yes, card. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And their employees. But, but, but this is different. This, this is different. This particular yeah. one is different, mm -hmm. yeah. And it might be something, we should actually really, in, Look at it closely and talk to the chamber about it because right. mm -hmm. this might be some. If it, if indeed it, it, it is, it sounds like what it is. Mm -hmm. We'd want the chamber to promote it with their sure. members. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Any, so this is within the. Any other new business? Um, I'm not going to get a motion to adjourn. I'll, move. I'll second it. Okay. That we adjourn. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motions. Are, the motion passed. The meeting is adjourned. I will. We will see. Everybody.